In 2023, over half a million people were involved in the Big Garden Beard Watch, counting a whopping 9.1 million beards. It's the largest garden wildlife survey that takes place and it helps build a picture of how our garden beards are faring. This year's event is due to take place between the 26th and 28th of January. And we asked local wildlife enthusiast, Ian Johnson, who created the Garden Next to the Plant in Wentwell, why it was so important people got involved. Well, I think it's important for everybody to engage with the natural world. Uh, and uh, we can obviously get benefits from the pleasure of seeing that, but also it's important that we do know what uh, effect we're having on the wildlife. Um, some bird numbers are in decline, um, so information about what birds people are seeing in their local area can add to the information uh, so to give us sort of paint a picture of, of how the bird, different bird species are doing. I've noticed that you've put out a lot of bird feed. Um, it's important to feed birds this time of year, yeah, isn't it? Yeah, this time of year, yeah, sort of the natural supplies of bird food are starting to run low. Uh, so if that can be sort of uh, added to by adding bird feed um, to tables or other spots where you think that the birds will visit and find that, then that will support the birds through this, these sort of these next couple of cold months. Um, so we've been putting out um, a variety of bird food, sort of a, a nice wild bird food mix, and then also I've added uh, peanuts, fat balls, and uh, sunflowers as well into in sp some specific feeders that I'm hanging from the trees. And it's not just bird food that you've put out in this garden. You've done there's quite a lot of different bird boxes, all at different heights and things. Can you tell me a bit about those? Yeah, so uh, we've put up lots of bird boxes to give nesting opportunities for the birds. Um, obviously that's another way of attracting birds to your garden and then they may, might use those boxes year after year. So that is something that somebody can do in their own garden. Um, maybe take a little bit of advice on the best positioning for the bird box. Um, here we're kind of safe from cats and other, and other uh, low sort of princes like that. So we put the bird boxes quite low on the trees. Everything's got its part to play in nature and, and birds are, are a crucial part of that.